today's video is on how to identify an oxidizing or a reducing agent in a spontaneous redox reaction. Now, it doesn't matter if a redox reaction is spontaneous or not spontaneous. Let's go over some quick basics. A redox reaction is a reaction that has two parts. One is a chemical that is being reduced and another is a chemical that is being oxidized. To back up even further, what does it mean to be reduced? Now, reduced is the um, verb form, if you will, of reduction. And reduction is, the ga is gaining electrons. Okay? When you gain electrons, you might become negative. You might even just become a little bit less positive. Okay? But generally, you are gaining electrons to be reduced. Note that these words are counterintuitive. A lot of times, people think to be reduced means to reduce electrons. That's what at least your brain tells you when you are in an exam, and that's not true. Oxidation is the loss of electrons. Okay, A lot of people learn this through memorizing this thing right here. Loss of electrons is oxidation and gain of electrons is reduction. Okay, Leo the lion goes cur. Now, in order to determine whether a substance is being reduced or oxidized, you need to understand what oxidation state is. And in this video, we don't have time to go over oxidation state, but but we'll do a little bit um, just based on this example right here. Let's do a classic, uh, oh sorry, one second. Let's do a classic redox reaction. Iron in the presence of oxygen becomes rust, which is also known as iron 3 oxide. Let's start balancing. I need a 2 here and a 3 here to balance my oxygens and I need a 4 here to balance my iron. Now let's compare the oxidation state I'm going to draw a table out here. So these are my reactants, these are my products, okay? We only have two substances and like I said in a redox reaction, if there is a reduction happening, there has to be an oxidation happening. There is no isolated reduction or oxidation. So let us look at iron and I'm going to make my iron red just so I can change my colors. Oh, that should have been here, okay? So, um, the oxidation state of iron right here is a zero. Okay. Why is it zero? Because the oxidation state of all free metals is zero, as is the oxidation state of diatomics or elements in their natural form. Now the oxidation, let me change my color one more time. Just the oxidation state of oxygen is zero. Okay. Now the oxidation state of oxygen in the products. All that we know in the product is that O is in the form, inside a compound and typically in 99% of the cases O has a 2 minus oxidation state in a compound. Okay. Um, I have no idea what color I used in the past but iron therefore let's figure out what the oxidation state of iron must be. Let's do our work on the site Fe2O3 has three oxygens and we talked about each of them having a 2 minus oxidation state because that is what oxygen does. Right? What it does is have an oxidation state of 2 minus in a compound. Three oxygens therefore have a 6 minus and in order to keep this compound neutral, two ions must have a 6 plus, which means that each of the ion has an oxidation state of 3 plus. So what's going on with the ion here? It's going from 0 to 3 plus. What do you think? Is that losing or gaining electrons? Remember that losing electrons makes you positive. So this is an oxidation. And going from 0 to 2 minus is gaining electrons, which must be reduction. Does that make sense? So iron is being oxidized and oxygen is being reduced. Okay. So let's write a reaction one more time. 4Fe plus 3O2 gives 2Fe2O3, right? So we said that iron going from here to here was being oxidized and oxygen going from here to here was being reduced. Why is iron being oxidized? Iron is losing electrons so it's being oxidized. But why is iron losing electrons? Because there is somebody here that is making iron gain electrons and who is that somebody? That somebody must be the oxygen because there's nobody else here. Okay. Oxygen is gaining electrons and is causing, gaining electrons causes the other guy to be oxidized 
and losing electrons causes the other guys to be reduced. Does that make sense? Kind of? Okay, so backing up a little bit, iron is losing oxygen and that is happening because someone here is gaining electrons. Okay, so what is oxygen doing? It is causing iron to lose electrons. Therefore, oxygen is known as an oxidizing agent. Remember that oxygen itself is actually getting reduced, but it is being an oxidizing agent. So whoever is, um, or a better way of putting it is a substance that is getting oxidized is a reducing agent. And a substance that is getting reduced, this guy's iron right here, and this guy's oxygen is an oxidizing agent. And that's the end of the story. So you go through the whole oxidize, oxidation state idea to figure out who is losing electrons, who is gaining electrons by comparing the before and after oxidation state of the two substances involved in the reaction. All right? So that's step one. Look at the oxidation state. Step two is look at the change in oxidation state to determine who is being reduced and who is being oxidized. And three, whoever is being reduced is the oxidizing agent and whoever is being oxidized is the reducing agent. So in this case, oxygen is the oxidizing agent and I hope by now it's clear that that's where the word oxidizing comes from because oxygen is one of the strongest oxidizing agents in the world. Iron, therefore, is the reducing agent. And that is the end of this chat. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comment section.